you have arrived. Hola, mi amigos. Park Warner, Madrid with Scott. Are you? And we're here for a certain roller coaster, but not in the video that you're watching now. No, 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 You would have already seen it. We're here for Gotham City Escape. We've been invited down by the park. But this today, right here, is the full day at Park Corner before all that fun begins. Gonna give Sean the tour, tour of the park. Tour of the park. Let's go, Scott. Let's get in there. Let's go. Check it out. This is stunning. Movie related and theme park related. Oh, they got the Chinese theatre. That looks genuinely terrifying. <laughs> genuinely terrifying, Scott. What's it like? It looks like it's got different cycles. Got, you know that view you got on the plane? Yeah. When we were coming in. Yeah. You get that view again when you're at the top. <laughs> and behind you is the Scooby Doo Dark Ride. Reg. Right, we're stepping into the Old West territory where Scott assures me that that's going to readjust my spine. That's going to be fun. Oh my, I feel like I'm in Disney. I feel like I'm straight in Disney. Right in front of us is Expedition Warren, sponsored by, or a Passage del Terror attraction, should I say. Inside there, you're going to be exploring the Conjuring universe in a Passage del Terror style walkthrough experience. I absolutely cannot wait for that to open. Open from 2.30, I am going on that. Coaster Express. The very rough, rickety wooden roller coaster. I'm all for it, I'm all for it, I'm excited. Oh, really excited. What a beautiful park, wow. <laughs> That's a beast, that. That's a beast. They definitely don't half arse anything here. Not even slightly. Fantastic. Pretty rough, this one, mate. Can be. Front row for the win. Oh, we've just done Bone Shaker the ride. <laughs> Bone Shaker Express. I've never felt a ride where you, I can physically feel my brain hitting the top of my skull. Literally feel the train moving yeah. from yeah. side to side, bouncing off the upstops. It's, uh... I liked how it carried the speed through, yeah. like from start to finish. That was good, but that's where the compliments end. And it's just like, oh, you just checking your net there. Yeah. It wasn't my driving that no, caused that. No, it wasn't. It that. wasn't. So we're going to go right, right. Right, right. Oh, I can see a certain top hat from a certain Batman roller coaster that at this point in time you would have already watched a video on. Exactly. There'll be two videos on there covering there the, well, the pre-opening of it. Here it is. I know you've, you would have already seen it. But this is in the daytime. You guys would have already seen the video, but this will be like a photo op for later, I assume. You got the entrance over there. Wow, 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 wow. They're still doing work on it at the moment. Getting it all ready for later. It's almost like we planned it. Testing, as we speak. This looks special. Now, there's not much theming going around when you're actually going around the layout. There's a few little pass through sections with poison ivy on the bridge there. But it's all about what's in those buildings. Yeah, I think the queue line is going to be like spectacular. Yeah, sort of theming. Atomy chemicals, all the Joker stuff, instantly reminiscent of the Warner Brothers studio in Abu Dhabi sort of theming. Same aesthetic, and it's stunning. Just going on a bit of a wander now. We've got the Gotham City Police Department. The Joker shop. A candy shop. Themed around the Joker. It looks like a stage area there. I'm in heaven right now. It's Spanish, lovely Spanish sunny weather. Movie theming, movie rides, IP stuff that's well themed and fully immersive spaces. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Shadows of Arkham roller coaster, an invert. Oh, wow. 
straight into Arkham Asylum. I thought it was a, thought it was a kid in character then. I was like, no, it's just their, their bib for school is orange. It's not actually the psycho board um, <laughs> costume. Wow. Claustrophobic and wonderful space. Into the station building. Look at this. It's gone in. It's only on one train though, which for how busy it is today, it's not great. They <laughs> don't load the bays here at Park Warner. Operations are a little bit slow. And look at this baby right at the end of the queue. That was better than Nemesis Inferno. There was no lulls, it was whippy, probably wasn't running at its best, like you said, no, no. but it was still better than Inferno. It's bloody good. Yeah, it's very said I've got to talk less, so it's bloody good. There you go. <laughs> that may just be the quickest review you've ever done of any ride in your entire YouTube like career. I'm just going to throw this in better than Nemesis. What? Towers Nemesis? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Straight inside the Gotham City Grill. <laughs> Let's get some food. Bat cave. 13 euros for that. I didn't think it was too bad when they delivered the mega pint of uh, Coca Cola there. But <laughs> in the Bat cave, just <laughs> time to tuck in. I think that may just be the slowest top hat drop I've ever seen in my life. The only way that would work is if there's audio there. It's gotta be. Some sort of interruption and the onboard audio plays into that because there's no other reason to hang people up there for that. I one. think, being honest, like at this, without going on it, I'm probably like really underwhelmed by how slow it goes over the top hat. It but does do it. I feel like there's a reason for it, like you say. But the pacing is just odd. And I mean that in a nice way. I just don't understand the pacing yet. I think it will be once I've been on it. Yeah, and in, and in other news, that burger was bloody beautiful. Look at these, man. Mucho grande. Let's see about how about one of these. <laughs> you could. No, 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 no. It's humongous. It's the worst kind of ride. I can't say I like the look of that, Scott. It's on ice blast mode, you'll be fine. It's a little bit taller than ice blast. Just a Scott. little bit. <laughs> Scott promised me one thing, we're not doing it again. No, I ain't got time. Good. Thank God for that. Don't it. Don't it. Never. Never again. Superman roller coaster. Flawless. B&M. Why are people running around to do it again? It's either that good. Oh, they're closing in five minutes. <laughs> you got to sell the Daily Planet newspapers, boxing gloves and cups, skittles, retro merch. What a nice building. Oh, wow, straight into the, the offices. How cool is that? Look at all the desks of the Daily Planet. With all the Superman news stories dotted around. Lex Corp. Beautiful, beautiful queue line. Yeah. 
<laughs> See, we've got a Superman emblem in the seat. That was not a bad little ride, that. Airtime moments. A little bit rickety, a little bit wobbly, but very, very good fun. Even though it felt a little bit old, a little bit dated, but it was, it was comfortable. It's good. Yeah, it is getting rougher though. I think it was definitely rough. If, if, if I'm being really critical, it's looking a bit dated in terms I just of said that, yeah. like the queue line, the trains, the track. It all looks like it could do with like a bit of a yeah. not a refurb. All the it stops are nice, wasn't it? And then as soon as you come up the bottom of the steps, yeah. there it's like right, we're, we're catapulted to, back in time. Just needs to tidy up. Yeah, that, that's all it needs. Look at this for a store. Wow! Superman merch, all Funko Pops over there. T-shirts, hats, Wonder Woman stuff. Stunning there, look at that! 19 euros 95 for a t-shirt is not too bad. 33 euros for a hoodie is about how it's about average. I thought it'd be extra expensive being uh, licensed for Warner Brothers stuff, but no. Not bad at all. That's a gorgeous mug. Thirty-three ninety-five. So we just stepped into the the Warner Brothers Studio section, where there's all more movie themes, facades, things like that. And a lovely little car over there. That's gorgeous. Lovely facade of this building as well. What is that? So they've done all that effort for a Vacoma Madhouse. Do you have a go? Yeah. Hotel Embrujado. This has got some cool, creepy vibes. I love it. I love it. Let's get spooky. That was a very, 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 very good madhouse. Now, I don't understand Spanish, so quite frankly, I haven't got a clue what was going on. But from start to finish to join that madhouse experience, they were telling a story. Not many madhouses, it's normally the intro, and then when you're in the, the madhouse section, you're just kind of watching a tree branch or watching the Lego thing in the center, which was just like a dining scene. And there, there was a story being told throughout the whole experience whilst the room was tilted. I like that, that's good. You've got sunglasses, <laughs> put them on, like I've not done. Look at this. What did you say, mate? It's very raucous, did you say? Raucous? raucous? It, it looks it looks a bit mad, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. General Lee there. Right. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh I'm, I'm not sure. I'm changing my mind, Scott. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's horrible. Very tough. Oh, don't like that. Well, we're definitely not half arsing it in the back row, but she'll reach the highest point at the top of the spike. And then away you go. That is the craziest ride I've been on, period, in terms of a roller coaster. That, that scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> that was unbelievable. The hang time on there, it was tough. I'd oh. forgotten what the back row was like. Oh, so it's horrendous. Front row is pretty terrifying when you, you know, look <laughs> down. Yeah. But not, back row? But back row is just oh like, my God. wow, highest point. But that's that's impressive, but I don't know if I'm brave enough to do it again. <laughs>
Mitch, glorious Mitch. The prices are really reasonable. The prices are really reasonable. Yeah, they are, definitely. <laughs> oh, I do love Warner Brothers merch. I genuinely think, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. It's better than Disney merch. All the, all the Warner Brothers horror stuff. Nightmare on Elm Street. Exorcist. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Get to merge and skin. Yeah. And you thought that was it. <laughs> Superhero stuff now. Look at this. <laughs> We've got baby trainers. Oh, comic book Batman. Look, Batman dog balls. What on earth? The designs on them are phenomenal. Quinn stuff. <laughs> it's endless. Six euro upcharge for the Warren's Passage del Terror experience. Spanish, Spanish Annabelle. So the movies we're exploring Annabelle Comes Home, Annabelle Creation, the original Annabelle, The Conjuring, and The Conjuring 2 by the looks of it. And we've got one down there as well. Oh, you're going to be introduced to them very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly, Scott. Exploring um, the Conjuring universe, um, my pants are definitely a different shade as to when <laughs> I first went in there. Um, from exploring the Nun, the Conjuring, Annabelle, uh, even the Exorcism there, the Glatzel case, that was all in there. Detailed sets, really long duration, miles, miles, miles better than the Blackpool one. I like the guys who run that one, so I'm not going to say anything. But... I do love them too, but that was on another <laughs> level. The detail was on another level. The experience was on another level. There was genuine jump scares, and there was no predictability. It was no. coming from all angles, and it was just finely tuned, full theatrical, immersive performance. Enjoyed it. Top. 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 Bellissimo. I still love you, Passage. Happy 25th anniversary. Tucked around the back of the park is the Acme section. Along with lots of kids' rides and a rapids ride. He goes, Don't want to get wet. Roomy air, roomy makeup. I'm going on, I'm going on. I love me, I love me a good water ride. Look at the ceiling. It's dead, it's dead. To the factory we go. Oh, love this. Love this. They are beautiful rapids. They are some of the best themed rapids that yeah. I think I've been on in Europe. Stunning. Absolutely love that. Loved it. It's been a cracking day with cracking weather, with incredible roller coasters, incredible theming, a lovely atmosphere. This is my kind of park. Park Warner has a really impressed me. Oh, come here. You gotta come here. And by the time you watch this, we'll have already done it. But we've got something to look forward to now. It's a certain Batman, Batman roller coaster. Can't wait. And I cannot wait to go on it. And you'll see already, because the video would have been up like two days ago, just what I thought about it. But I appreciate you watching this far. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Always nice spending the day with you, Scotty. Good and I'll stuff. see you in the next one. Ta-da! Bye!